Hey guys, this may be the news you guys have been waiting on. Okay guys, you, everybody, we've had several conversations in the last videos that I've done about the Big Navi and, and the 3080 and the 3080 Ti and this, that, and the other. I'm gonna start off by pulling some comments from the last video. This might be something we start trending here. Who knows? You guys, I like y'all's feedback. So if y'all, if y'all, I will communicate, comment, trust me. I like, I like interacting with you guys. Um, let's start off with this comment from Guy Murphy. He says, there isn't really anything in AMD's launch history to suggest such a thing that would be in any way likely. They've not had much, such a massive performance leap before. So I'm not sure why we would expect it now. Going from the 5700 XT, a competitor with a 1080 Ti, to launching a car to overtake the 3080. That would be stupefying large step. Well, guy, stay tuned. I got confirmed specs for you. Um, he also states, there is nothing confirmed for future 3080 models except for the larger memory. That's correct. Um, as well, as you well note, there's nowhere the performance to sit between the 3080 and 3090. If you're planning on using AK's texture in the next couple of years, it may be worth waiting for the 20 gig. That is not necessarily true. Um, it's not just textures. If, if you're using, like I stated in a previous video for production, deep learning and stuff of that nature, the extra memory is well needed. So that's why they're claiming the 3090 is actually the Titan card. It doesn't give you a bump in gaming like everybody. Matter of fact, if you go look at some of the, the actual leaked uh, reviews that's out there, those reviews and the, the, the scores aren't, some of them aren't even better than the 3080. That card is geared toward production. Now, that is something that NVIDIA's main end drive was with their larger, more expensive cards. It's double the price. Don't expect double the performance. Nowhere near it. This card is not a gaming card. It, it is never designed to be. It's designed to be a production value card for not the big corporations that can afford the really expensive cards like the Quattro's back in years ago. But this is this is something for basically mid-level mid -level consumers like me that I, I do graphics, lots and lots of heavy graphics rendering for business signs, stuff like that, of that nature. And, in anybody in video production, that's that's what these cards are designed for. Now, am I getting a 3090? Hell no. To me, there, I don't need it. I can get away with the, the the 3080 Ti, which is what again I'm going for, guys. Mainly because of the memory bump, not necessarily because of speed bump, this that. Now. Memory bump because I can use it in production. Now, more about them confirmed specs on that Navi card we talked about. All right. So everybody's like, no, there's no, there's no specs. There's nothing like that to suggest that they're going to even compete directly with the 3080. This is where the news gets fun. And yes, I agree. It, AMD has never jumped like this ever. So like I said, if you guys don't think these two companies are talking behind closed doors with another guy from one company paying him to get information, you are sadly mistaken. Why do you think NVIDIA just bought arms? They're going after Intel. They're fixing to build processors. It's, it's fixing to be a massive computer race. And this is, this is where it starts right here. Mark my word. Okay. Let's start with Navi. Let's start with the Navi 21. There, just to let you know, there will be a Navi 22. 23 and a 24 there will be four cards yeah they're they're coming 
Navi 21, which is going to be their flagship card. It is going to be a 16 gig card with 5120 shaders, 1500 megahertz base clock. Base clock. You guys comment here. We're not going to discuss it yet. Comment below. But I'll give you the base clock boost clock. The boost clock is 1735. And the memory clock is 2000 megahertz. Now granted, they're using DDR6. Whereas NVIDIA is now using DDR6X in their, their higher end cards. Um, but if you don't think that's a direct attack on a 3080 base card, I think it's going to be a damn close race. Now they have the that's that's going to be the 6900 XT card that's nicknamed you know Navi 21. The Navi 22, which is actually going to be the 6800 XT, is going to be a 12 gig card. Now the, I, I think I stated the other one was 16 gig. This is a 12 gig with you know two 300 uh, 3584 shaders, 1500 megahertz, 1735. 2000 megahertz this card the the 22 the 6800 xt is a cut down of the 6900 the only cut down is memory so if memory isn't a big player in these these hiring cards there there's a trend here so y'all were stating or some people were stating not everyone that there was nothing to back up AMD is going to be a direct competitor with a 3080. There it is. Confirmed specs, black and white. Get ready, guys. It's going to be a battle. So I've been telling y'all this, telling y'all this, telling y'all this. There's more to come. There's more I'm going to release when I can. <laughs> There's some things that this got accidentally released. And AMD did confirm it, so it was okay for everyone to you know, put it out here. This race is coming. This race for the GPU top spot is coming and AMD is thirsty. They want it. But are they gonna be enough to beat out Nvidia that's been the top seat for years? Think about this. This just happened. I I run nothing, nothing but Intel. I, I've, I got burnt by AMD years and years and years ago with their, their egg cooking processors. Right now, if I had to say who was on top as far as a mainstream processor for everyday consumer, hands down, AMD's got the best processor. They're for the bang for the buck, AMD all day long. Intel's got some dependability. AMD not so much, but bang for the buck, if AMD's backing that product up and you have problems with it, that processor is the way to go. I've been burnt, I won't use them. Intel's where I go, but this coming from an Intel fanboy, AMD's got the better processor. And the only reason they got that better processor, they got thirsty for that top seat. So they overtook Intel and that's what we have today. The same thing's happening right here. Black and white, they're going for the top seat and Nvidia's in their way. So guys, We'll see you in the next one. Let's see where this plays out. Um, the guy stated that uh, the 28th next month is his birthday. He wants to see what AMD can do. I personally don't think you're going to have to wait that long, sir. So let's see what it is. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll get you some more information as soon as I'm able to. Thanks, guys.